Welcome to a video from the DigitalLife.com, new Windows 11 build to look at. This is build 2200.120. Again, an incremental update to this, so not a full install build. And I'm running this here on my uh, Surface Laptop 2, which is on the beta channel. I normally do these on a Surface Go, which is on the dev channel, but the builds are the same on both channels at the moment. So I'm running this here on my Surface Laptop. Um, so there's a few changes to this one. Microsoft say they've introduced a new uh, family widget for the Microsoft accounts. So uh, you'll be able to, to see recent activity from your members of your family group. So I've added the uh, family safety widget through the add widgets. It's not currently showing anything. Maybe it takes some time to sync, but what it should do is show me things like screen time and things like that. Although I'm not really using that anymore. I did when my kids were younger, we're not really using it anymore. But anyway, there's that widget where it should be we'll see if it, it syncs out at some point there's some other changes to it the um, chat icon in the taskbar uh, will get notification badges now you notice on my machine here I don't have the teams chat integration that's because it's not on the beta channel it's on the dev channel so on my surface go I see that but it's not on here the other thing they've done is change how these previews look and how you can close them I'm gonna open a, a window and we'll, we'll see there's the close button like that. I don't think I, if, I, if they hadn't told me, I wouldn't be able to spot the difference, but it has changed. Another change they've uh, updated the File Explorer's content, context menu to be more compact. So let's have a look. So there's the compacted menu. That looks, it does look slightly different. Uh, again, if I didn't, and if they hadn't said, I probably wouldn't have noticed. And the new button is changed as well now into that drop down. It had that kind of split button before now it's changed into a drop down and there's plenty of fixes with this uh, the virtual uh, touchpad is back you can enable that in the uh, taskbar settings and this is quite handy for um, so the virtual touchpad is is great for uh, on your sort of in tablet mode as well, so you can use it to move the mouse around uh, using the uh, uh, touchpad. I'm using my finger here on the Surface Laptop screen; it's moving that mouse around. I can close that. They fixed issues with calendars. They fixed some issues with multi monitors that was causing problems with the um, the start menu to go into the corner screen and then crash. They've fixed some crash Explorer crashes as well uh, when you're running under multi monitors. Um, the fix the Turkish language issue with the um, taskbar as well and uh, right clicking the taskbar with the pen should no longer cause it to crash which is good again for tablet users um, they fix some DPI issues they fix some crashing issues in settings um, they fix like VPN and, and things like that uh, settings should no longer flash green on launch well, I've never noticed that to be honest but let's uh, let's check yeah looks perfectly fine on here um, they fixed some issues with the Windows P if you're going to project and they fixed some uh, file explorer issues with memory leaks and crashing as well and uh, also on the start menu if you repeatedly press the start menu you could actually crash uh, Windows and they fixed that as well um, there's a whole long list of fixes which I include on the post on the digitallifestyle.com there's still some known issues with this build the, if you're on the beta channel a few people have had issues um, upgrading to this uh, after, got, after installing this build you don't see the new task uh, the taskbar and start menu or it doesn't show up at all there's a way around that you have to install an old or the, the, the last cumulative update and then it'll reinstall it and correctly install that as well uh, there's some issues when you can't type and you've got to use the Windows R to get the box up and uh, there's some taskbar may flicker as well and uh, some of the widgets may appear empty uh, or the widget board may appear empty now like I said mine appearing, this one is appearing blank but I think that's a um, that's because I've not got all my family safety info synced on here yet. So that's the main changes with this build. You see here running pretty well on the beta channel. I have no issues running this so far. Um, 
and even the, the, the device, my uh, service go around the dev channel, no issues as well. Obviously, they'll diverge at some point. The dev and um, uh, beta channel dev gets the latest features, newest builds. Uh, beta one gets more stable ones. So that's why I'm running the, on uh, beta on this one, and my sort of sacrificial device, the Surface Go, is running on the dev channel. So thanks for watching this video. You can find all the details, including all the uh, fixes, known issues, that kind of thing, on uh, the digitalastore.com. And I'll see you in, on the next Windows 11 video.